What do you consider good money management? Is it something you take pride in? We're here to talk today about just that. Money management is an important part of everyone's life. It dictates what we buy, what we plan on buying, and otherwise how we decide to live our lives. Today, I'm here to talk to you about that. We are going to show you how to properly manage your money. We're here to help you. In order to understand how to be more fluent with these issues, we're going to talk to some people, get their opinions on good money management. Doing so, we'll see what they have to say, and we'll talk to you about what's, what's necessary to make this reality for you as well. What do you consider good money management? Um, I think good money management is when people are very like reserved in their spending and um, have a set budget and go out to spend only that budget. Don't go out and freely spend on whatever hits in that day. And what are you doing now to manage your money? Um, I'm setting a budget. <laughs> Not much. I'm broke. Um, my parents like follow a very strict budget and they don't like just go out randomly and buy stuff. It's very set out monthly what they will put their money into. Is there anything you wish you'd done differently with managing your money? Yes, um, I often just, if I went somewhere, I just decided to buy it right then, even though I didn't think really about where my money was going to and what I would actually like to do with it um, in the long run. Kind of spent it on things that were like there right now, but would it last me? Would give me any benefit? Where do you see your current money management plan in five years? My current. Like, like, how do you see that working out in the next five years? That would be really bad going into college and trying to survive off of just quick spending. It would not work out, so I need to have to budget and. Like put stuff into savings and things like that. Okay. Great. What do you consider good money management? Um, just making sure that you have the money in your bank account to pay for your bills and then have a little left over to buy good luxury things that you want. Right. And what are you doing now to manage your money? Right now, I put all of my checks into my savings and I don't touch it unless I need it. And is there anything we should do? Probably not take out as much for like fast food because I spend a lot of money on fast food. And the current plan you have right now, do you say that will be the next five years? Probably not. Probably gonna have to get a little bit better at managing my money and being a lot stricter on not taking out as much because I'll have more bills in the future. Okay. That's it. What do you consider getting money? Good money management um, is um, taking care to spend money on those things you really need instead of those things you just want. Uh, keeping a budget so that you know how much of your money uh, is going where. Um, not trying to live beyond your means, maintaining a lifestyle that's compatible with what income you have. Um, Good money management. So, what are you doing currently to manage your money? Well, I have a financial advisor. Uh, my wife keeps a budget for our family. Uh, we have uh, investments. We manage our investments. And I don't uh, overspend. You know, I do all those things that I suggested earlier about good money management. I don't. We don't spend beyond our means. We uh, are not in debt. We. Uh, pay our bills as they come due and we find life much more satisfactory. Is there anything you wish you had done differently? I wish I'd made more money on that. Uh, in terms of managing the money, uh, you know, I guess I've made some bad investments in the past uh, that I perhaps wish uh, I hadn't made. But other than that, I don't think I've done anything incredibly foolish. And so in five years, what are you doing now? Do you say you're up? In five years what? Like in five years time, do you see your current money management plan? Do you see that it's still working up? Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll alter some because in five years from now I may be retired. And uh, the 
not having a steady stream of income from work uh, will create a, a different way of handling money. And I'll have to figure out uh, what income stream I'm going to have from retirement funds. And I assume that will be added to my needs. Many times, people realize that their current money management plan will not work out for the future. Money management, let's see. Uh, I'm in debt, and I bought several books on how to get rich. And, I mean, I thought it was going to work, but then in the end, it, it just didn't pay off. I mean, this one. This one. After that, I got more monthly fees. It just kept adding up. I couldn't pay. I bought more though. This one. Another three cent. One hundred twenty-five ninety-nine. Charges that just kept coming in. It got out of hand. I wish I would have been about money management before. You should always. Always pay attention to fees that apply after you purchase things. Manage your money. It is important. Always. By keeping track of your expenses, watching where your money goes, and also making smart decisions, you can avoid any of the problems associated with bad money management. Stop buying these books. They're not necessary. All you need to do to succeed is just by making smart decisions. Here's Kiri, an expert financial advisor, here to talk to you about good money management. Some tips for money management. Save a set percentage of your income for emergencies and maybe a retirement plan down the road. Take care of your necessities before your wants. You don't want to spend unnecessary money on something that you don't need at the moment. Keep good records of your personal finances. It might come in handy when you need to do a tax return or um, when you need to keep track of your bills. Consider a financial advisor and continue to monitor your investments even though you have someone checking it on the back end. All things to help when you're thinking Good money management. <laughs> <laughs>